Welcome back. Uh, we're here today showing off a little DIY ballistic chronograph. This one here is suitable for airsoft, air gun, or paintball use and uh, consists of a sensor tube here. The sensor tube goes over the barrel of the air gun and has uh, two beam brake sensors separated by a fixed distance. Each beam brake sensor is adjustable with its own potentiometer and a uh, and that goes to a microcontroller here, which is an ESP8266. That ESP8266 is hooked up to an LCD here that displays the speed of the projectile. Uh, the ESP8266 also has Wi-Fi on it, so the next step in this one is going to be a web interface as well. So you'll be able to hop on to it via Wi-Fi and see the results on a web page, averages, all that kind of stuff. This is just a short little demo to show how it works. Okay, when we first fire this chronograph up, we do need to adjust the gates for sensitivity uh, so that they can actually see the pellet or projectile go by. Um, in order to do that, we adjust the little potentiometer that it is at each gate on the tube. Uh, clockwise equals more sensitive the way I've got it set up. And once it goes, you'll see the LED over here uh, light up. So I'll turn this clockwise, and then once the gate has been triggered, uh, the LED lights up, and I back it off a bit, and then do the same with the other gate further down on it and it sees the shot and it'll see it go real slow of course because it took me forever to do that um, but that's how you adjust the sensitivity so I'm going to keep doing that until we get each one close to where it's going to trigger And then uh, that looks like it's about right. So now at this point we should be able to uh, go ahead and, and test it out. Here's the air gun we're using for testing today. It's a Crossman 1322 pump up air pistol. It's got a 16 inch barrel. Uh, it's a fairly nice gun, fairly easy to find on Amazon or eBay. Uh, on the other end we are shooting into a trap with a backstop for safety. Now that the uh, gates are configured for sensitivity, we're ready to try a test shot. We've got the mechanism hooked to the Crossman 1322 air pistol and we're going to fire a 14 and a half grain pellet with five pumps. Let's see if it catches it. You can see it did detect the shot there. It shows it at 115 meters per second or 379 feet per second, so that's pretty good. And you can see it's showing the velocity of the last shot still. We're going to try another test shot. This one's 10 pumps with the same 14 and a half grain pellets. You can see it detected that shot as well, showing that one at 146 meters per second, 480 feet per second. So a significant boost from uh, putting that extra five pumps on there. And a successful test of the chronograph.